My name is Ravi Roth, and I'm your host of the Gaycation Travel Show. Today I'm hopping across the pond, and I'm going to the LGBTQIA plus capital of the UK. Am I going to London? No. Am I going to Glasgow? No. I'm going to Brighton, baby! And we're linking up with Tosh and Marta from Breaking the Distance, who are going to take us all around what's known as London by sea. Brighton is a destination that is known to attract humans with extraordinary lifestyles, be it artists, hippies, vegans, queers, and more. I can't wait to see where Tosh and Martha take us. I'll be joining them mid-show for an extra sensible Q and Gay. For now, breaking the distance, take us away. Hello and welcome to Gaycation. I'm Tash. I'm Martha and together we are breaking the distance. As you can see, we are in the beautiful seaside city of Brighton. And um, Brighton is only one hour train ride away from London and is also known as London by Sea. <laughs> Brighton is known as the LGBTQ capital of the UK as it's host to the largest pride celebration in England. And it also has the largest trans pride in England, which is celebrated in July. So this episode, we're going to be taking you around Brighton to see all the places to go. Let's do it. Tosh and Marta are staying at the Amsterdam Hotel, but I wanted to mention that Brighton is full of queer run bed and breakfasts, Airbnbs and various accommodations. You may also want to consider Legends Hotel or Queens Hotel if you want a seaside stay. Jury's Inn is another option for those looking for more of a modern stay. And finally, those looking for something a little more homely, Guest in the City is an adorable and stylish bed and breakfast located a short walk from Brighton's famous lanes. So tonight we are staying in the Amsterdam Hotel, which is based in the literally center of Brighton. Um, we are overlooking the ocean. The pier is just incredibly stunning. Amsterdam is one of the gay LGBTQ hotels in Brighton. The other one is Legends and we're staying in Amsterdam. My Dutchie, she's yeah, taking, I'm very her, happy. <laughs> taking her back to Holland. Um, but yeah, we, we're going to show you this amazing view. Yes, check it out. For the first stop on this tour, we are going to Brighton Pier, otherwise known as Palace Pier. Located near the city center, Brighton Pier is a lively boardwalk full of amusement park-like attractions with an amazing view of Brighton's waterfront. We are now standing on Brighton's iconic West Pier. It's probably one of the most iconic attractions in Brighton and it's actually legally protected. And um, we're opposite the Sea Life Center, which is an aquarium, the oldest in the world, built in 1877 and has the longest underwater tunnel in England. Let's go check out the pier. If you want to get the best use of the beach, travel to Brighton in the summer. But if you don't mind a little chilly air, feel free to explore this city throughout the entire year. Just make sure to pack some cozy clothing options. Brighton is home to the UK's largest pride celebration. So if you want to travel here to be part of the party, we suggest traveling here in the beginning of August, but make sure you get your accommodations early. Brighton is known for a diverse restaurant culture with its many vegan options, seafood joints, and pubs you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for. Tosh and Marta had the chance to sit down with local cafe owners Katie and Catherine from Green Kitchen Brighton to discuss the food scene and restaurant life in Brighton. It's just, it's just a really good vibe. Yeah, mm. and the lanes are full of independent businesses, which you don't find in, the, in many places. Yeah. You know, we've got all the chains, but we've got really good independence as well. And I think that's what makes Brighton a bit different. Yeah, mm. for sure. Mm. You, yeah. Can, you can go through the day without actually seeing any of the big chains if you stick to the lanes yeah. and stuff like that. You yeah. don't actually, you can avoid all of the, the big yeah. ones. Have a walk through the pavilion gardens. It's always, it's always been something, see. something quirky <laughs> going on. Time. Great That's buskers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It's just, and people watch just, you know, it's just such an interesting place that yeah. attracts characters, I think. I already said a little bit, but how do you feel as a couple, LGBT couple living here? You can go anywhere, right? Like, that's the yeah. thing, you don't really, as a gay person, you don't have to stay in Kemp Town or no. go anywhere and do anything you want, really. Within reason. Within <laughs> Now that you have a vibe from the locals' point of view, Tosh, take it away. 
now we are in Brighton's infamous lanes, the home of independent shopping. Let's take a look. Brighton's famous lanes is known for vintage, antiques, and jewelry. You can find anything from stunning art to the perfect thrift find, vegan shoes, and even Harry Potter memorabilia. If you're looking for a gift for a special someone or just seeking that cobblestone narrow street British feel, check out the lanes and see what you can find. If you are looking for some great vintage, then get your butt to Brighton. So many different vintage stores. We're gonna go and have a look and see what we can hunt down. It's important to plan for how you're going to get around Brighton once you're here. Many of the accommodations we mentioned are within walking distance of the great attractions that Brighton has to offer. You will also find that biking is a popular option as well as buses and taxis. If you have accessibility concerns, the local Brighton 7 Hub buses will set up an appointment to arrange to have passengers test out how the buses accommodate individuals with mobility concerns prior to having to ride. Since I couldn't be there in person with Tosh and Marta, I wanted to check in with a sensible Q and gay via Zoom. When I say Brighton, first five words that come to mind, each of you go, Tosh. Gay, uh, amazing, seaside, fun, party. Marta. <laughs> Okay, yeah, gay, uh, vegan, um, drinks, fun, party, queer, maybe I said too much. <laughs> What's one item that someone must pack if they're traveling to Brighton? I would say you have to take a camera. Like, you're always gonna have an amazing time and amazing fun in Brighton. You want to capture those memories, so like, always take a camera, there for sure. What's, what's Brighton known for food-wise? It's really eclectic, actually. I mean, it like we're both vegan, so for us, it's a real vegan center, and there's lots of like sustainable um, and it's small shops. Yeah, it's loads of independent food places. It's not about like big corporate like. It's not about the chains. What brings you the most joy about Brighton? I am a big ocean lover, so every city next to the ocean is just the best for me so that and it's close to London so it's actually quite you know you can reach it easily but also the queer community I felt you can really feel it and you can see it the people around you everyone is just you know different and I felt really at home and yeah it was really good for me the ocean definitely it's it's seen as London by the sea um, and yeah, that thing of, it's definitely, it's a real, it's an old city in terms of how long it's been in existence, but its energy is really young and really vibrant. Yeah. There's a massive student population there. And you really feel that push of like, we want to make a change. We, this is what we believe in and we're taking back our like world and we, we're environmentalists and we're sustainable and yeah. blah, blah. And it's like really that like, if we're going to have a protest, let's do it in Brighton. Um, it's really that kind of, energy to it, definitely. Okay, and lastly, if I'm going to try to pick up a boy, how's my <laughs> British accent? <laughs> almost, almost there. Yeah, um, it's good. Or just stay American. <laughs> okay, yeah. you know what? We're gonna let you all go back to exploring Brighton right now, and I'm gonna work on my accent, and we will link up later. But for now, <laughs> Thanks for joining our interstitial Q and Gay and take it away in Brighton. Brighton is also recognized for its thriving art scene and this is no more present than in the North Lanes, the home of graffiti and independent artists. Brighton is packed full of bars and clubs. But if that's not your thing, then worry not, fearless travelers. There are so many things to do in this cozy seaside city that you'll never be bored. You can check out various live shows, modern art, shopping, boardwalk arcade, hang out at the beach, take boat rides and tours, take a bird's eye look from the I-360, tour the Royal Pavilion, take the Peers and Queers tour, and check out all of the museums. Brighton is truly a gem and should be on your travel bucket list. So, uh, Brighton has a lot of traditional English food, but it's also recognized as one of the biggest vegan hotspots in the UK. And we are vegan, so... We're eating our faces off right now. <laughs> Hi, 
vegan sushi roll from Happy Mackie. I'm so excited. Cheers. Mm. We're now in Kemptown, Brighton's gay village. This is home to the famous Bulldog pub as well as the Marlborough pub, which is the original lesbian pub. Unfortunately, the Marlborough is closed today, so we can't take you inside, but we will go back and visit the Bulldog because it's open. Woo! Um, but this is the center of everything LGBTQ in Brighton. So definitely the place to be. Yes. And um, fun fact, it, at least 10% or more of the people in Brighton uh, identify as LGBTQ+, which is the largest number of the world. There are literally too many amazing queer bars, clubs, and pubs for us to name. But know that if you're into the nightlife, you're gonna be able to find the right fit for your trip. For a little bit of everything, visit Bulldog Bar. If you're looking for a place to get a bite, have a cocktail, then jump on the dance floor. Check out Legends Bar, a local favorite. Or if you're looking for something more high energy, check out one of the many nightclubs that Brighton has to offer. We made it out for dinner. We're at a vegan, plant-based pizza spot. It's called Pretza. Pure Pretza. We're very excited for this one. How is it? This is like the best vegan pizza I've ever ate. Like it doesn't taste like fake cheese. It's just pizza. It's a fresh morning. So we had a lush night's sleep here. If you do want to be in amongst everything, the Amsterdam Hotel is definitely the place to stay. Let's go to the beach. Beach, beach. <laughs> so we're at the beach. Can you believe it? It is like 8.30 in the morning. I mean, it's not freezing, but it's well, definitely a nipply look day. At, look at the clothes we're wearing. There are people currently swimming in the ocean. It's October. There are people currently swimming in the ocean. Yeah. Crazy Brits. <laughs> On Sunday morning. <laughs> On a Sunday. It's how you start your Sunday morning, isn't it? Swimming in the ocean. Oh! I usually opt for warm beaches of Bali, but I know in the summer that this beach is lit. We hope you've enjoyed our vacation tour of Brighton. It's such a fun queer city. <laughs> and you can find us at Breaking the Distance on Instagram. And we also have a podcast on Spotify and Apple Music called Breaking the Distance. And you can find our blog at www.breakingthedistance.com. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Tosh and Marta, thank you so much for showing us all around Brighton. As a vegetarian, that vegan food looked incredible. I loved the thrift shops. I can't wait to go to the largest pride in the UK. And I wanna go swim in that ocean. All right, all right. Be sure to follow Tosh and Marta on their channel, Breaking the Distance, as they uncover love and humanity in the queer space around the globe. Next week, we're heading to the kindest country in the world, Canada. Be sure to follow the Gaycation Travel Show each week as we dive in, tank top first, obviously, and show you some known and off the beaten path destinations that should be on your travel bucket list. Stay safe, stay proud, and always remember to live out loud. Ooh.